I just know I thought that was like, and, you know, I thought it was, of course, it's editing, but, you know, should we all be afraid of you, Anna? I mean, Larsa asked this question. Should she run out and, you know. Am I violent? Right. Are you violent? That is what um, Larsa asked. <laughs> okay. So here's the thing. I think I've known them longer than the other people. I've known Alexia longer than the others. I am a person that pays attention. I am a person that that people come to seeking advice sometimes because I'm a lawyer, because I'm whatever. And so there's a lot of stuff that has been shared with me through them directly, through people around them, and things that I've witnessed myself. Do I have occasion to use those things now? To what end? Like, to what end? I don't have any particular issue with Alexia. You know, we have a podcast. Like we said, we will mock some things. It is hard not to laugh at some of the Alexia-isms. It's hard. But just like Teresa, they're both kind of funny and 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 kind of caricatures of themselves. So, yeah. We, it's why we they laugh. do so well on the show. It's why That's they are That's what makes housewives. you iconic, by the way. When you're, like, doing that and you interrupt people and you talk louder than everybody and you talk with your hands. I mean, that makes the Latin quintessential Latina housewife. That's what people want to see. People don't watch housewives to look at the women and go, I admire her so much. They are watching us, even when they've watched me, to laugh at us, to mock yeah, us, totally. to say how ridiculous these women are. I am aware. And I believe they are aware. And I believe that they're okay with it if the paycheck kind of is, you know, reflects the amount of dignity they are um, giving people. Are they getting that in return? And do I think that's wrong? No, I don't think it's wrong. It's not right for me. I have way too many hangups. You know, I have too many hangups of what people think about me of leaving a legacy of what Lola will think about one day when I'm dead and looks back at my body of work, let's say. Mm -hmm. Am I proud of my grandmother is my grandmother cool will she be talking to her friends oh you never met my grandmother but she did this and this and this i want that mm -hmm. i want my kids to think my mother was whatever a, a badass or didn't give up or worked hard or all those things so people so are gonna I, ask lola how did your grandma die she's there she's gonna say she bit her tongue <laughs> she questioned <laughs> herself <laughs> she or I, gonna... anyway so, so yeah, I was so, going to make a so, joke. They were going to uh, ask where Marisol uh, was when you died, but I thought that was yeah, funny. where she was. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now no, I'm no. being the shady one. Yeah. Well, no, but I was going to ask to that point, like you have known, you know, Alexia forever. You've known these women forever. So I guess were you shocked then when you showed up and you heard that like Alexia and Marisol were not there, and you know you were they were explained to you that this was the reaction? Yeah, it was shocking. It was that was shocking. When we were in the car, we had to drive around a lot. So a car picked me up at my house first, m much earlier, way too early. In fact, they canceled the car twice because Adriana was running late. Adriana will miss her own wedding, will miss her own funeral. She'll miss planes. I've seen it all. So she was late. And so I was in the car. I was doing work. I was talking to the driver, whatever. She finally gets there. When she gets there, they start driving us around. We pass by the drive through of this Mr. C's. And, and, and the funniest thing is that everybody knew that I was going like, in other words, you know, certain people were told and they kept it to themselves, which is kind of crazy. So it was a total surprise for Alexia and Marisol. Some people knew. Like I know Who for sure knew? some people knew. I, I Julia knew, and I know Gertie knew because um, because I I think Maris uh, not Marisol um, Nicole. Somebody told like somebody told her she knew that I was going to be there. She, she could not have predicted that this would happen. Just like uh, like Nicole couldn't have predicted that this happened. Nicole and I have a friendship separate from this because, and this is complete transparency. Her husband um i was his client but i became his client through like friends in other words so we developed a friendly relationship um you know cuban lawyer in miami i i, I really like anthony a lot have a lot of admiration for him i've been to his office many times i so i remember sitting in his office and him telling about me about nicole he had been there with her for a while He's like, you know, my girlfriend, she's an anesthesiologist. She's a doctor. She's so smart. She's whatever. It was just nice. And then when this happened, he called me 
and told me, what do you, you know, can you talk to Nicole? Like, I want to make sure that she knows what she's getting into and whatever. And I honestly, for me, Nicole is like, like the total package. And I really love total package women. In other words, you know, somebody that's smart and pretty and accomplished and all those things. And, and so for me to be asked to kind of almost mentor somebody like that, why not? And I wasn't going to tell her, do this, do that. It's not, I'm not like a, I'm a veteran housewife, but I'm not a multiple year, you know, housewife. I know what I know. And, and so we've had lunch, we've had long lunches. We've talked about a lot of things, but in those times that we spoke, we never ever once talked about Alexia. And I did tell her, be careful with Marisol. I did. I'll admit to saying that because, because Marisol, again, lies a lot and will do whatever her default is lie, lie first, you know, and, and whatever, you know, if you watch her closely in, in some scenes, you know, you see something in her eyes. It's just, I, I really honestly believe that she's a very bad human being, but I don't feel that way about Alexia. And I don't feel that way about anybody else there, which is why when Alexia said, you've talked badly about every single person here. Well, first of all, I haven't talked about any of those people ever. I've never said anything about Larsa or Nicole or Gert, like none of the new girls. I don't know them. I've never said anything bad about Adriana either. Even when I have a reason to be mad at Adriana, I just feel like Adriana is kind of like aloof and kind of a, a little bit all over the place, but not malicious or vindictive or anything like that. And so I guess it's where your heart is that makes me whatever. Plus I made it very clear. You know, I did say I didn't, I don't know anything about his interest rates or anything like that. I don't know where that's coming from. Um, and that's it. Maybe she's mad at me. And that's how, but, you know, Nicole, because you know, Anthony, because you were Anthony. Client, and, and then he, so and he like he, asked you to mentor Nicole. Cause right, she he told me like, you know, talk to her. Not like she won't let you finish a sentence, David. Just know that. Uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> he told me that, um, you know, whenever I had a chance to like talk to her and whatever, and it was when she was going to the reunion right before the reunion went, and she had admitted that on the show. She told yeah, Andy she that it. I had, yeah, <clears throat> but it and wasn't there's... out of like, Hey, I know, I don't know her, but I like her and she's a smart one. So I'm going to call her so that she can hurt people. Why? Right. You know what I mean? Why? Was there any other advice you gave Nicole other than beware of Marisol? Um, have fun. <laughs> uh, not really. Like I told her to make sure she's going to parlay it into something else, you know, um, that she checks a lot of boxes, you know, she's beautiful. She can do makeup. She can do skincare. She can do hair. She can do fitness. She can do babies. She can do home. She can do, she is the total package and a brand's dream. So yeah. You need to stay, you know, because she's like, I don't know if I should do another season. I don't know if whatever, like stay long enough to make that happen. And let me tell you, people love Nicole. I I've love always Nicole. said that the problem with this show is that there aren't enough intelligent women.